This is the moment in July of 2018. An Atlanta police officer tased a man, causing him to fall. Friday, a jury awarded him $100 million, saying the officer used an unreasonable amount of force. That man now requires 24-7 care and is paralyzed after falling and hitting his head on cement. 11 Alive's Don White has more on how this case may set a legal precedent. This encounter between Atlanta police officer John Grubbs and Jerry Blasingame, who was 65 years old at the time, all started with this. Hey. He was panhandling and the police, of course, rolled up on him, chased him and then ran after him. The victim's legal team says the officer struck Blasingame in his back. Since he's not under arrest, he can run or do whatever he wants to do. When he was about 10 feet away from the officer. Jerry then fell again face forward face planted and smashing his head, multiple facial fractures, brain injury, and broke sir, his neck. Sir, sir, sir. This body camera footage shows Blasingame unconscious and motionless. Grubb's post record shows he's been on the force since 2014 and is still employed by APD. Do you really think that it's a good idea to have somebody that's a hundred million dollar liability on your force still interacting with the citizens? Georgia NAACP President Gerald Griggs, who's also a lawyer, believes a verdict may cause APD to look at its hiring and training of officers. Given that there was no call for service on this situation, they could have handled it differently, but it sends a strong message from the citizens that live in the Northern District of Georgia, a part of which is in Fulton County in Atlanta, that they're sick of this and they won't change. I reached out to the Atlanta Police Department who say they don't want to comment on Officer Grubbs or the verdict, Sir. leading to a man's quality of life forever changed. We're really, really happy for Jerry because what we do now say is a quadriplegic, in other words, a quadri quadriplegic with just a little bit of movement in his arms. Hopefully now he will have money to fund his care so that he can live the rest of his life as best as he can possibly live. The jury found both the city of Atlanta and Officer Grubbs guilty of violating Blazing Game's civil rights, awarding 60 million from APD and 40 million from Officer Grubbs. Lawyers say the victim already has $14 million in medical expenses.